Uh, hi, GDG is a very interesting uh, developer community. I'm glad somebody has asked this question. I think. This is where the magic happens. This is primarily a question and answer show. So if any of you out there would like to ask questions. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Google Developers Live. I'm Vic Frizel. This is Steve Basil. Yep. Uh, we're here today to talk about the Google Drive SDK, and specifically today we're going to be doing uh, an app review of one of the Drive SDK applications that integrates um, via the Drive API. Yeah, and today we're going to take a look at uh, an application called Loop, which does uh, image collages, um, lets you pick in photos from all different sources, from uh, everything from you know Facebook to Google Image Search to Drive and Instagram and so on. Uh, and they did they did some drive integration a while back, and we're gonna you know go through some of the the, the really cool things they did, and you know highlight some of the areas where maybe they could uh, work on tightening up the integration. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so we're gonna start off by uh, launching the application from the Chrome Web Store. So Steve has the application open here. Um, and let's start off by going through their Chrome Web Store listing. They did a pretty good job so far. Uh, they have very excellent photos and uh, an excellent description of their application. Um, this is really important to make sure that users get attracted to the application. Yeah, exactly. Th these are, these are really engaging, uh, you know, photos that you know show you know how, how the application works, what you can do, what the output is. Um, and if you go through, we're not going to go through you know all of this, but you know they did a really nice job at highlighting. Um, you know what all the features of the app are, and, and you know why it would be cool to play with. Yeah. So uh, Steve already has this application yeah. installed. Yeah. I'm going to go over to my drive here actually, and uh, I have just a bunch of photos here from. Uh, this is just my wife and I on, on vacation in Thailand here, so nothing, nothing too exciting. But uh, we can go in and create a new collage. Um, so yeah, one of the cool things they did is you know they uh, they do single sign on correctly. It already knows who I am and everything, um, and they have a really easy. Uh, getting started process uh, in terms of connecting to different accounts. You can see here it's already logged in from Drive. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually already has my photos, and if I want, I can go and connect to Facebook, um, or even you know pull you know photos from uh, you know say public uh, public Twitter feeds and so on. So it's a, you know pretty pretty cool app the way uh, this all works. But today we're obviously mostly interested in Drive. Uh, so let's just. Bring in. Uh, let's not do these two here, and we'll add the photos. Uh, so it actually looks pretty quick in terms yeah. of the responsiveness of uh, bringing in the photos from Drive. Yeah. Um, and then we could actually see some of like the display around with it. Let's do a since this is a cloud storage, we can actually just make our photos into a little cloud shape here. These uh, actually these photos here, uh, these little South Park characters, are uh, my ones that we do with my wife and I for our, our annual picnics. Um, so <laughs> cute. And we'll just put ourselves together over here. Um, but uh, yeah, so, so that's this is the primary use case: uh, pulling in a bunch of photos from one of these services and then making yeah. a collage. So you can drag the photos around um, and edit the collage. You can zoom in, zoom yeah. out. Yeah, and they have a public gallery where people can share uh, share the collages, or you can share them through uh, you know services like. Uh, like Drive, mm -hmm. so let's uh, you know, you know, just for testing purposes here, I'm gonna just go and save this, and we can just give this a name. Uh, I'll just say test for now, we'll make it uh, just private. So this is this is where one of the improvements that I uh, that I was suggesting actually, uh, and to be fair to them, a lot of the feedback that we're gonna go through today, we've all we have already provided uh, uh, to the developers at Loop and, and hopefully they'll have a, an updated version out pretty soon. But this is a case where uh, the behavior wasn't really what I expected. If I go back into my drive Oh we lost connection Yes we did. Uh, there we go. Uh, so I go back into Drive, you know I I don't have I don't have that that picture, right? You know, I click save, but mm -hmm. where is it? It's not in my drive. And it turns out that in order to do this, you actually have to do a second save to put this back into Drive. Yeah. So now I can say save to Drive. It will save it. And when we come back to Drive, it's actually saved yeah. under an unusual name, correct? Right. Uh, which is loop, and then a, a bunch of characters. Right. right. And as a user, I would have expected that to you know basically pick up the name that I just put in earlier here. Um, so a couple little you know little things like that, you know, from a user's perspective are, you know, they, they do they do appear to be uh, you know that unpolished uh, you know part exactly. of the app. Um, so to to up until this point, uh, Loop has done a couple of things very well. I mean their UI is obviously very slick and and even in the integrations with Drive that they already have, they're well integrated um, via these buttons and dialogues and everything and everything just works. 
So that's, that's very good. Um, we would like to see a couple of, of tweaks, though, to this integration. Right. So one of the tweaks, um, for instance, that, uh, that Loop could have made was to use our own picker. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we provide a, a picker, which is essentially a dialog uh, allowing you to select files from Drive. In this case, though, it's probably a good thing that Loop didn't do that. I, I, exactly. This is, this is a conversation that, um, you know, that I've had wi with the developers at Loop about um, you know, the, the trade-offs in, in using our picker versus their. And because they pull in photos from so many different sources, you know, they have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, um, Google Image Search, actually. Uh, they wanted this to, to come across as a unified yeah. experience. Um, whereas if you know if they used the picker from each of these different services, it would have been a little jarring to users. So yeah. in this case, they end up asking for you know a, a lot of access to Drive, but you know the, the user experience is, is actually yeah. really good here. And actually, when they when they when you select the Drive tab, uh, you can see that Loop um, has gone through like a lot of work to make sure that this is very fast and, and user friendly. Yeah. Um, this could be implemented less efficiently and. Uh, if it had been, then you users would see like loading signs here and things like that. Um, so it, they they did a really good job of a custom yeah. picker. Yeah, they did they did a good job optimizing this, and and a lot of this is made possible with um, the fact that we you know we provide thumbnail links mm -hmm. for for these images, yeah. uh, so that they're you know they're just downloading uh, lower res versions and, until they actually need it for for building exactly. the collage. Um, the um, so uh, another thing that that Loop could have done slightly differently was. Uh, instead of originating from gitloop.com, uh, users might um, find it more uh, sensible sometimes to start from within Drive. Right. So if, let's say I go back to my Photos folder here, and I just want to create a collage with, uh, say, a couple of these pictures. Um, it would be nice if I can do open with. Uh, loop and 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 bring these in and you know we actually have some, you know multi multi select I can select all of these and import these in but it's just not a, not an option here and it's it's it would be a pretty easy thing for them to add um, yeah. and but, not only that it, you you would get a lot of other nice features of the drive uh, user interface like search for instance you could search for only yeah. wedding photos Correct. and just make a collage of just selecting all of the wedding photos I, I, exactly right so. and. Um, Yes, um, very very cool thing they could do, um, and, and generally pretty pretty easy. Um, the the other thing, um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, we you know we did talk to the developers there and gave them a lot of this feedback. Um, one thing that, uh, Loop we actually used as a demo for uh, back at I/O was the sharing dialog. Um, so just like we can go in and oops wrong, wrong share, um, you know I can share here. We actually have this dialog as now an embeddable component, um, and it was we actually got to work with them in demoing this at I/O, and they had integrated it uh, into their development uh, ver version of Loop, so that when I did go in here and create a collage and save to Drive, it would automatically display that sharing dialog, um, so that I can share that with my friends and my family. So that that's something that you know I I know that you know they've worked on. It is in their sandbox, and uh, you know I do hope that uh, hopefully pretty soon that yeah. will be available to to all users. Yeah. So that's also a, a really good idea for them because if uh, if Loop in the future decides to store a native collage format mm -hmm. in Google Drive, um, so that you when you save a collage you can like reopen it in Loop, uh, sharing the collage to other users who don't necessarily have Loop installed will drive installations to their application because we will know uh, Loop's native collage format um, requires the Loop application. And once that happens, we can suggest to users right. via this mechanism that they should go and install Loop. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if uh, it might be a little hard to see, but there is this Chrome Web Store icon down at the bottom, which will then let me, uh, you know, go find some apps that uh, that work with this. And you know, so PicMonkey, Marquee, HelloFax, uh, and uh, it looks like we have a new one, Cloud Paint, which I uh, have not seen before. Um, oh. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah, as you said, you know, sharing this, and also you're right with the. Um, I don't know if I have a demo of that uh, readily available, but. Uh, Right, with the custom formats, mm -hmm. you do get a, a, an even more prominent display of, uh, you know, yeah. uh, an I, upsell. Of I mean, the applications icon shows up yeah. very prominently on the yeah. bottom. Uh, users just want to click away from its Chrome Web Store listing yep. and installing the application. Exactly. So, so. really, really good way to get additional users to the app. Yeah. Um, so in in saving to Google Drive, uh, Loop would have to detect that a user originated from Google Drive. And then throughout their their user interface here, they'd have to propagate that. And once a user finally clicks save, the user probably wants to save the collage back to Drive, right. because that's where they started from. Yeah, exactly. Right. So that's something that would be a little bit different um, when when choosing to save a collage here instead of uh, 
just it's saving uh, you know natively to within within loop. Yep, I could even do uh, recursive collages here. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, that, that's that's definitely a bit of feedback that um, that they are aware of, and and yeah. again, are are hopefully will will be in the next version once yeah. that's available. Yeah. Um, um, and you know, Loop doesn't even have to go so far as to use our common sharing dialog. Mm -hmm. They could use the Drive API once they've created mm -hmm. a you know a, a Loop collage a natively in Drive to share that with other users. Um, so we have uh, built-in access control mm -hmm. lists for each file. And uh, Loop could just use that to send out, you know, an email notification or, right. or share the yeah, ex file. Exactly. Away. Right. So. Um, yeah, and, and every each of these networks, you know, for sharing has a, a slightly different way of doing it. And the nice thing is, we give developers, you know, the choice of, yeah. uh, you know, really low level uh, API level sharing or just a nice pre built widget. So. Exactly. Uh, so, what do you think, Steve? Uh, overall, um, yeah, yeah you know, I, I give it, uh, you know, probably a. a a solid B. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's a really fun app to play with. Um, mm -hmm. When they first went into the the Chrome Web Store and showed off their their drive integration, I had a lot of fun playing with it, creating collages and yeah. so on. Same. Um, you know, but th there are you know uh, some of those little bit little tiny missing features that aren't that hard to implement, but I think go exactly. a really far away just to you know to make it a really uh, all around solid app. Um, yeah. So I I definitely agree. A B. The you know the the one feature that I would at least like to see is just saving back to Google Drive. Yeah. Uh, even if the user doesn't originate in Google Drive, the ability to just automatically save in Google Drive with a, a proper title. Right. Um, yeah. and proper maybe um, metadata like indexable text mm -hmm. and things like that so that the collages are searchable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that that would be something they could do pretty easily in terms yeah, of exactly. um, Using the uh, you know the source the source image names as the indexable text, so I can yeah. find collages that include a particular image. That'd yeah. be actually kind of a, a pretty cool use of, of the search features. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so everyone, that is Loop, uh, the collage application in the Chrome Web Store for Google Drive. Yeah. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, I mean just you know encourage people to try it out. Um, yeah. You know, and, or try out any app in in the uh, the Chrome Web Store. All of them have. There are some that are really really solid. Some that need a bit of work. Yeah. Um, but each one is is an opportunity to, to learn and, and figure out what, what works and what doesn't. Yeah. So Steve, if a user is interested in, in installing this, how do they do it from the Chrome Web Store? Uh, pretty easy. You can go to the Chrome Web Store, and we do have a Google Drive collection where you can go and find all of the applications. Uh, so Loop this, is right there on the bottom right? Uh, yep, and that's yep. here. This, this order actually does change. Um, yep. It's a little bit dynamic, but you can go, and in this case, I've already have it installed. Um, but you can just click on that or say here, like add to Chrome. The uh, one thing is you don't actually need Google Chrome to install a Drive app. It will work with any browser. Um, mm -hmm. It's just uh, right now that's uh, this is where we're surfacing the apps. Um, so go try them out. There's a, a bunch of others here that uh, I'd love to do reviews on. Um, mm -hmm. So if you have any requests for a review, yeah. please tell us. Yeah, or if you have an app uh, yourself and you would like our feedback on it, um, we would yeah. be happy to spend some time playing with it and uh, giving you so some suggestions. Great. Yeah. All right, so that about wraps it up for us. Please tune in later this week. Um, we're going to have another Google Developers Live session on the mm. Google Drive SDK. And do we know? Do we have a topic for that one? Is that going to be? I don't, uh, I don't think that we have a topic yet. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out, yeah. and uh, we kind of live on the edge. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. Yeah, so that's it for us. Right. And uh, hope to see you guys uh, again on Thursday. Thank you.